This feels good. Come up to the fire, ladies. I'm not cold. Now, Mr. Hale, before we move things about, could you explain to Mr. Henderson what you saw when you came here yesterday morning? Wait, wait, what are you three talking about? I can't understand your play because I, I don't know where and when your story happens. I'm so confused. Could you explain more to us? Okay, now we're going to tell you the background information. We're the four people who arrive at the house to investigate the scene of a crime where John Wright was killed. Well, we are in the kitchen in the now-abandoned farmhouse of John Wright. It's quite gloomy here. That's right. It's so messy. Nothing is in order. Pans are unwashed, bread is out of the bread box, and a dish towel is on the table. It seems like the household chores are not complete. What you see now is called setting. The overall setting of a narrative or dramatic work is the general locale, historical time and social circumstances in which its action occurs. In this scene of trifles, the setting refers to the abandoned farmhouse in the gloomy and chaotic kitchen. In addition to helping the audience understand what is going on, setting can be used by writers to develop a mood or theme. So, the abandoned farmhouse helps create an atmosphere of alienation from the outside and shows that the play exists in a private and domestic domain. So that's the importance of setting, to help the audience understand more about the story. <laughs> 